welcome to today's video. Today we focus on something we all, uh, if we have an aquarium, have or should do every couple weeks um, or maybe even every week and that's maintenance. So even on that little frag tank, tank I have here as well as on my bigger aquarium, I have always to do some things, even if I don't change anything inside the aquarium with the rock work or with the corals, there's obviously always something I have to do um, every couple weeks. I tried, especially with both of my tanks, to make it as fully automated as possible. So when I think what I have to do mostly on my aquariums now is once a week I have to fill up the RO water. Because obviously um, if you have a salt water tank and especially if, it's, uh, if it doesn't have a lid on top or something like this, there's a lot of water evaporating. And because that water evaporates, all the salt still stays inside, so we have to fill it up with RO water. That's kind of completely filtered water who has um, absolutely nothing, uh, kind, of, um, kind of phosphates or uh, minerals and stuff inside. So you obviously need a specific filter for this. I maybe show that in another video then. Or you can get it from your fish store, so just ask for them for RO water and they usually know what to do. You can also buy it. Um, at Walmart or Target, uh, they sell gallon bottles of RO or distilled water, so you can use this, but that's obviously uh, pretty expensive if you would uh, get that always from there. Maybe better get it from your fish store, because then you can make sure it's really what you need and you don't get anything else. Um, but I have to top up that RO water, so that's something I have to do a lot. Um, the skimmer cup from the skimmer, I also have to change that one here and there. I obviously have the reefer uh, 600, which I showed in another video on my big tank. Also that tank here has a tiny little skimmer inside. But since the frag tank doesn't have a lot of waste inside, I only have to change that or empty that maybe every couple months, uh, if at all. I usually just let it run in the small tank here because it gives oxygen to the water. So it helps a tiny, tiny little bit with the pH. Um, so that's why I keep that running in that system as well. But when you look also here, that whole frag tank is full of stony corals. And all these SPS corals, they need um, specific minerals from the water. So it's alkalinity, calcium and magnesium mostly, and some trace elements as well. And usually you can achieve that by heavily, heavily water change. Um, and replenish the minerals with this. On my both systems, I actually haven't done any water changes for over a year on that one as well as on my big one. And everything actually grows great, great. But you can only achieve that if you supplement this with something like, um, I'm using All for Reef. Um, it's kind of a, just one kind of solution I can mix up. Previously, they always had the liquid bottle, so it was kind of ready to dose a solution in a one liter bottle. But um, it was pretty expensive. I feel like one of these bottles were maybe 30, 40 dollars and I went through one bottle a week. So you can imagine how expensive that is for a month. And that one here, um, that guy, I feel like it's like around 50 dollars. Since it's only powder and you mix it with RO water, um, I'll show that later in that video, um, it makes out of one of these containers, it makes 10 liters um, or a little bit more, about a little bit more over two gallons of ready to dose solution. So that's definitely a very, very price effective um, uh, solution for me that I now use in those uh, aquariums as well as in the one I had before for over a year and I never had one single problem. I feel like the benefit of that one is um, I don't have to buy three, four different uh, bottles of alkalinity, alkalinity, calcium and everything separately. So I can only have one. I don't have to add any kind of trace elements and stuff like this. That's supposedly, I'm not a chemist, but it looks like that's, or at least they advertise it, that's all inside that bottle. But it's, I mean, I just let the results speak for itself. It definitely um, keeps my reefs running and my corals heavily growing since over a year. 
Um, and if you haven't seen, you should also check out my other videos where you see my big tank. So things are heavily growing there as well. But I feel like that's kind of next to obviously scrape, scrapping off some algae of the glass. That's the only thing I do for maintenance. Um, so let's go and make now that all for reef solution and I show you how I mix that up and then how I put that into my tank. Mixing uh, that all for reef solution, what I all, all um, obviously need is the powder itself from Tropic Marine. Then I brought already RODI water. I always put that in a kind of in a measuring cup. Um, on the back it says for all for reef for one liter it needs 160 grams of that powder. Obviously for me growing up uh, in Europe and living obviously there a long, long time. Uh, the metric system is absolutely no problem, but just make sure you always kind of um, Google that if you have to put that in ounces and any kind of other, um, if you even want to calculate anything in gallons or ounces or something like this. Uh, I would definitely go by milliliters and grams for this one. Uh, what I also have is a scale that can uh, carry obviously a little bit weight because I put then that one and a half um, liter on the scale. I tear that, like I set it to zero. So now whatever I put inside obviously will be then the, uh, the grams I need. So in that case 160 grams for one liter. If I use one and a half liters it's obviously 80 grams more. So I add 240 grams uh, to that one. Just make sure you always calculate that properly because otherwise when you dose it would then vary uh, all the time if you put in a little bit more and a little bit less. So we are here still on zero so I just add that here. Um, it actually needs quite a lot. I hope I still have enough inside that one here. Uh, definitely don't splash too much. Put that here inside, 160, 214, 238, just a tiny, tiny little bit more, 240. So that's the final um, solution. Now obviously that thing hangs out here in the bottom, so that's why I have to get something and then I can stir it as well. Okay, I got something to stir and always make sure you have like a towel handy because obviously I don't want to use my regular towels for fish stuff, always kind of farp uh, color coat, a different color for that one. So let me stir that a little bit. It's usually very, very good dissolvable. Um, so I just stir that here a little bit around for a couple uh, minutes or seconds even. It actually doesn't really take that long. Um, but that's why you see I only add um, one and a half liters because when I put the powder inside then that chalk gets completely full and obviously I don't really want to spill too much so I just kind of uh, make it that way. It's still a little bit milky so I just still continue to stir here. Um, by the way, there's also on Amazon and everywhere, there's kind of devices where they have an auto stirrer with a magnet and everything. Um, but I, I don't have to be too fancy for that one. I just kind of stir that a little bit. And um, I feel like already now even, I don't, there's almost nothing uh, left. It's just still a little bit milky. But this will go away then if I let it sit here for a couple uh, minutes. I just keep stirring. And then I show you when it's ready and clear. Okay, I would say that's as clear as it gets. So I take now that one and put it inside my two um, little dosing containers I have in my big tank and in my frame. <music> tank 
week and I actually saw that my dosing container, it had a weird little, I always get that if I have that all for reef um, and if I don't kind of clean the bucket out here for a couple months, I get like a brownish little film on the bottom. So I go ahead and just rinse that out just to make sure um, that doesn't really affect anything. It does just doesn't really look too nice. Um, I had that already a couple of times and it never really had a bad effect to me. So I, I feel like that's just kind of probably the sediments or something like this that goes then uh, all the way down. So that's why I just, um, I cleaned that here a little bit out. Um, I have to say, I'm not that paranoid that I would, for cleaning things like this, I would always take completely distilled water. Um, my house water usually is also pretty good, but just kind of make sure um, that thing is kind of empty, empty. I also don't go inside and try to dry everything out uh, just because it's a little bit um, wet. I feel like that's still good. If you want to make it like the absolute proper way, then just go ahead and um, take maybe a paper towel or something like this, but I just um, do it that way and just fill in here the solution on the top. Um, fill here every single thing in that one here. So that gives me like a little bit over the 1500. So I just go ahead and repeat the steps I did before. And just to make sure that thing gets fully up, that I have another 20 to almost 30 days before I have to do anything here on that uh, to refill that um, reservoir. All right, I filled it absolutely, absolutely up to the rim. So there's uh, no tiny little millimeter more that goes inside. So that's good. I bring that soon to the aquarium. But just uh, make yourself your own picture. Google it um, all for reef. Uh, on Google, there's also a lot of other videos you can look about it. But after using a lot of different um, calcium, magnesium, alkalinity um, elements and dosage uh, bottles from other manufacturers, that's the one I would just um, recommend to use um, because I just had absolutely great results with it. And it's by far, I think, the easiest um, way to do it. So no two parts, no calcification in your sand bed and stuff like this. Um, that really uh, is my top recommendation for you guys. Thank you very much for watching and if you saw in today's video something I should explain by that please put it down in the comments below or if just in, if you have any kind of general questions I'm more than happy to kind of to help out with everything I was able to learn on my uh, little reefer journey um, I had over the last like five years and uh, I see you in the next video.